Hi, I'm Mike Hosper. I'm a product specialist with Akai Professional, and I'm showing you today the Akai MPK49 controller keyboard. The MPK49 is really a nice controller because it pretty much solves all your problems uh, in one solution. You don't have to really touch the mouse at all to configure anything. You can set up all your parameters here in the edit screen. It's really, really quick to edit your and, and map your controls on your software. This controller has 49 semi-weighted full-size keys with aftertouch, and we have 12 real MPC pads here. This controller also has an arpeggiator with a latch function and transport controls. Over on the right side, we have eight faders, we have eight knobs, and we have eight backlit switches as well with three banks. So bank A, we have a total of 24, B24, and C24, giving you a total of 72 controllers. We have a pitch bend and a modulation wheel, as well as pedal inputs in the back too. So it's bus powered, or you can power it with an adapter as well. And in our preset screen, I've got gone ahead and selected Reason. And you can see some of the parameters are already mapped for the uh, preset Reason. I've chosen a subtractor synth and I don't have to worry about mapping anything. There's also a preset for Cubase, Sonar, Live, some Arturia synths, Rob Papen synths, um, there's many, many uh, presets, and there's also a total of 30, so if you want to overwrite them and put your own presets in, you can do that as well. The global screen allows us to uh, sort of customize how the way you need your MPK-49 to work for you, so you can adjust your LCD, the pad sensitivity, the threshold for the pads, uh, your MIDI clock, whether it's internal or external. And also, below the screen is the transport controls, so I can rewind, fast forward, stop, play, and record right from the MPK-49. So I'm going to go ahead and just really quickly record something into Reason. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it and play it back. So I can also record my automation as well too if I have that set up in Reason. The arpeggiator is really nice because there's a latch feature that allows me to latch the arpeggiation and do all my filter tweaking and, and mix automation. So I'll go ahead and... So. Aside from being able to latch the arpeggiation, I can actually, on the controller, change the time division of the arpeggiation too. So I'll go ahead and play an arpeggiation. So I can latch my arpeggiation tweak all my filters, and change the time divisions all real time. And of course, I can record all that too as well. The pads I have set right now to play some of the notes in the subtractor synth and Reason, but there's also a note repeat for that as well. And those correspond with the time division buttons as well too. So. So I can also set my pads to full level. So if I want to trigger things according to velocity, I can do that as well, too. There's a 12 level uh, button here that is very similar to the MPCs that allows me to uh, map the pads to trigger different parameters according to velocity strikes. In our edits uh, page, we simply just click edit here and move one of the controllers and click the encoder and you're ready to start editing that controller. So all your data values here right on the screen. There's a tap tempo button and there's an octave down and up button too for getting the full range of notes on your keyboard. So you can see that the MPK-49 is really a powerful all-in-one controller that gives you uh, a feel of an MPC and all the familiar controls that you'd want in a synthesizer too. 
The transport controls are really nice, so you never have to really touch the mouse when you're laying down sessions. The arpeggiator is really nice, too, for laying down uh, really intricate patterns, too. And the time division notes allow you to get really creative without having to be able to play if you're not a, a, a proficient keyboard player. So the MPK-49 is a really nice all-in-one controller keyboard.